Once you've taken your x-ray, there's lots of ways you can review and change your image. The bottom left function key takes us to a range of functions. Brightness and contrast is the first one. Select that, then move your finger over the image to change brightness and contrast. After any change, to save your changes. Here we have flip and rotate. We have invert. The zoom tool here. Once we've pressed it, just use your fingers like a phone to zoom in on the image. Again, any changes, press save. Here we can apply different algorithms to the image and it will give the image a really different look. Currently it's on number five. We can go to number one and see if that's something we would prefer. Or we can go to three. Or maybe five. Just press done when you're happy. Save any changes. Sometimes the machine will ask you if you want to keep the image as an addition or overwrite it or cancel. I'm going to overwrite. The notepad is whether you display this text or hide it. The paracetamol tablet is whether you show the text and the hoof prints or hide the whole thing. This is very useful to see the image, but then when you need to do another image, you need to bring this back up so you can pick your next view. The bin lets you hide or not hide any deleted images. If you've deleted some images and you're running through them with a client, you might want to have the deleted ones hidden. If you don't have them hidden, then they will appear, but with an X through them. The tick button allows you to make a change. If you've taken the left hind and actually it was the right hind, we can change that. Pick the view that it actually was and save and it will flip it from left hind to right hind. Again, save any changes.